Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and today I'm here with Brownell's Daily Defense to talk to you about mechanical offset for the AR-15. All right, so what is mechanical offset? Basically, it is the height over bore between the center of the optic and the center of your bore. So you'll notice how there is actually an, a, a height that separates the middle of my objective lens with the middle of the bore. Now, maybe that's an important thing, maybe it's not an important thing. I will tell you right now that most people that begin shooting rifles don't really appreciate the importance behind knowing their mechanical offset. So what does it mean? Why is having the mechanical offset so ingrained in your technique important? Because if I need to take a critical shot, a shot that is maybe on a reduced target, maybe I've got a small target zone that I'm trying to aim at, if I don't know precisely where to aim, I run the risk of missing or I run the risk of failing to effectively deal with that threat. So what happens when we don't understand the mechanical offset is the bullet doesn't go where we want it to go. And that could be a bigger problem than you might think. So when I talk about the uh, the height over bore, what is the approximate height that we're talking about here? For most of your red dot sights, it's gonna be right around two and a half inches. That's a pretty good number. So two and a half inches. If I were to walk up to the target and put the dot on the X-ring, the muzzle, the middle of the muzzle, would be two and a half inches below the optic. So that's an approximate height. What I recommend is that you, that you measure it yourself. And then after you've measured it, then you shoot it yourself. At what ranges is it important that you understand mechanical offset and that you make adjustments to your point of aim in order to generate the hit? Well, that will depend a lot on what type of zero that you have selected. But from the 25 yards and in, ah, it's all kind of a level playing field because the bullet is coming out below your sight line, crossing your initial intersection at some point, whether it's the 25, 50, 100, 200, it's still climbing. But where we see the greatest difference is in the closer ranges. So 25 yards and in, there's definitely mechanical offsight. And it starts to level out as you get further or closer to your zero distance. What I recommend is that at the 10 yards and in, it is something that you really need to apply. From the 15 yards and 25 yards, it's kind of one of those things where it depends on how good of a shooter you are. If you're a good enough shooter that you can actually see the inch and a half that it's offset, okay, great. If not, you're just gonna wanna aim, point of aim, point of impact, and just kind of deal with what are the subtle differences you see. But 10 and in, it's enough to where you really need to think about it. Now, let's give some, um, some examples of where you should aim for instance, on a target. So if I'm shooting a four inch circle, all right, a four inch circle, and I want to deliver the round in the middle of the circle with this particular optic, the offset of the optic, what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to put the dot at the 12 o'clock position a little bit above the circle. Since from the center of the circle to the top of the circle, it's two inches, half of four, I know that my mechanical offset is two and a half inches. I have to be slightly above. So what I usually tell people is one dot above the actual 12 o'clock position of the circle and you're good to go, all right? That should be good. Now let's talk about maybe the reference on a facial feature. So if I need to take a headshot and I'm at those close ranges, I'm probably gonna wanna put the dot right across the eyebrows to deliver the round right around the nose mouth area. All right, so the top of the eyebrows will, should deliver the round right around the nose or the mouth. So those are two examples, but those are examples that we see when we're looking at the target. What about when you have to shoot from maybe some form of cover, from behind something? And this is where people really forget about their mechanical offset. So I might be able to see my dot on the target I can actually, maybe maybe I'm kind of coming up over uh, an engine block, or maybe I'm up and over a low wall. I can see through my optic the target. The dot is plainly on the target. However, my muzzle is low. And so what you run the risk of is you run the risk of either skipping rounds off the hood 
or impacting that low wall and causing a lot of fragmentation. All right, so mechanical offset is not just important as far as where I'm placing the bullet on the target, but it's also important from what my position is relative to some form of cover or concealment. Need to make sure that our muzzle is always clear of whatever it is that I'm nearby. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some shooting where I'm going to be aiming in the center of the X-ring so you can see where the bullet's gonna strike. Then I'm going to apply the correct height over bore to deliver the round right inside of that X-ring. All right, so let's take a look at what that should be. All right, so you can see my first shots were definitely 12 o'clock. And then you can see how when I adjusted for mechanical offset, my shots went right inside the bullseye area there and I was able to deliver effective fire. Now, remember, the, the importance behind mechanical offset is not just in being able to hit a target, but it's able to, be in, to ensure that you clear your muzzle from any obstruction so you don't frag yourself. And more importantly, if you need to deliver effective fire, you're able to do that. So play with this drill, figure out what kind of mechanical offset you have to deal with with your rifle, with the, whatever optic and mount that you have to work with. And then if you have questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. Until then, take care and stay safe.